thing. It's going to get uh, very farmed on the Nation's Prophet because of that as well. I think it was Start getting himself a little bit of XP. And to be fair, Matu, as I mentioned, was zoning out S4 that entire time, so it's not like he really lane. got a whole lot for it. But yeah, Top, you're absolutely right. That's going to be a first blood. FNG goes down to Zai. Uh, the level one potential of uh, God's Rebuke in this game. Your hand skin with a rotation into middle lane. The Doom's oh, actually middle. already come out onto the Ember. The Ember's actually moving away from the Tiny, so it's going to be kind of difficult for them to actually connect. Can they get in range for the Avalanche? Yep, so he actually tosses him forward for Limp, and a Haste Dream spawns, but yeah, hand skin doesn't go for it. They want to get the kill into Rosham, but it doesn't get denied. They still get the kill onto Limp, and that means Nisha is down for the count. Just gotta see what you can do, Radiance right? Test the waters. Yeah. Put your toe in, see how cold it is. So, towers will be traded. Bottom uh, tower goes down for Secret. Meanwhile, top tower goes down for Alliance, but there goes FNG as well. Apparently, the captain Radiance falling. Also, get a kill here and lead it into the middle tier one tower at mid. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. S4 is going to be the target, in comes that arena, Zai holding back on the spear for now, they actually allow him to get off the poison Nova, but nevertheless, they do bring him down, Nico Baby TPing in, he wants to make something happen here, jumping onto Zai, Zai turns around with a bulwark, still taking a decent amount of damage, meanwhile Puppy just feigns the reverse polarity to force back Nico Baby, secret, they want to return the favour here, and take the middle tower themselves, are they going to be successful in doing so though? In comes a leash, oh, in comes dooms. a double doom from them. That's pretty damn good. But meanwhile, science actually comes through onto the Venomans and stopping him from getting up Huge. the follow ups. Poison Nova and Puppy even converting the RP to stop that happening, but it doesn't matter. Matu and Nisha have already fallen. A beautiful combo from the Alliance as they take down Puppy as well, making it a triple kill for Nico Baby. They defend that tower and a little bit of a cherry on top as well there as they take down three behind them, which they have done successfully. Both teams wrapped around upon another. A fight is inevitable, and they see Puppy. It would be a good target. They're going to jump in and come with the Avatos, but he gets off the RP. Mystic Blade comes out on top as well. And meanwhile, the poison never comes down. Arena is out as well. But he's the first one to drop. Meanwhile, Hanskin, he's in trouble as well. But the BKB pops from Limp as Hanskin buys back into this fight. There's the Mars who's been doomed up along with the Ender Spirit, but Limp's still taking a ton of damage. But Superman just getting to work on the backlines. But now Nico Baby gets up on top of him, and they will be able to bring down Martu along with that Aegis Carrier as well. Puppy tries to come in and do something with the skewer, but unfortunately it's not quite enough work. I He's going to lose his life. Nico Baby is an absolute machine. He takes down four heroes. And Alliance, they win this fight convincingly. Yeah, true, true. Making his uh, Doom feel worthless, oh, but now they open to the high ground. He's just going to be spotted. The Doom's actually come down onto him already. BKB pop from Limps. They go to take him down secret. They're not sure what to do about this. They're just losing their Ember Spirit, and the Doom stuck around for a very long time here. And now he's into trouble, but the Bellback comes in up. He comes down onto two as well. They've got the Life Center inside of it. Don't have the damage. Take him down in time, though. And it looks like they do, but he's still fighting up. He's healing up, but it's not enough. He is dead. I mean, he's going to split off the rest of the team. Alliance have to back themselves away right now. Meanwhile, S4 gets found by Zai on the side. They're just blowing up the spells onto the Venom. So Venomancer is most certainly going to fall here, and there is nothing you can do about it. Meanwhile, Hanskin was still looking for something here. Alliance just gonna give away a little bit of gold and Roshan, but not lose any objectives. Jesus, FNG just taking some real hits here. Meanwhile, Zai actually gets the arena down, but Nico Baby is inside limp, and uh, well, there is no Doom available oh, right now. Again. As uh, the Nico Baby's being controlled up good and proper, surrounded by secret heroes. He does put that Manta, but it's not gonna keep him alive. And now they all just have to get themselves away. Um, what happened to the Doom there? Where is it? They got this big cooldown on the Doom that they have to constantly play around, and it's just inevitable for you to make a mistake. Yeah. You see what else they're doing here? They're spamming out these Manta styles to give them vision. Oh my god, they actually jump in here, and they're going to try and take down FNG immediately. They're actually going to try and jump inside FNG to keep him alive. Nico Baby now jumping out the other side as FNG dies. S4 getting pretty low here. He's going to be the one controlled up. Meemaw Matu, though, he's losing his life. The Doom comes down onto him just to make sure he most certainly will fall, but they've also traded S4 for that as well. Limp getting pretty low. Nico Baby still very healthy, though, but they're taking down everybody else. They're taking down his friends. They're taking down his team. Now Nico Baby all alone. Can he really fight up into all these heroes? But guess who's back? FNG comes. Coming in to help him out. The Hex is out onto the Life Stealer. They're both stunned up though by the Inks. Well, but surely they can kill him off here. Nico Baby will fall. And FNG risking the dieback here. In fact, not risky. It. It's gonna happen. Everybody dead on the side of Alliance. A dieback from FNG as well. And everybody on the side of Secret except for 
the Nature's Prophet are all up and ready to go there. He's got that Hex, the Agonims, just dishing out massive damage. And in they damage. go, Arena comes out onto S4 as I trying to take him down, but Lim comes in to give him a helping hand. They also get the buyback onto Nico Baby, and it seems like they've kind of left Zai for dead here. Or, well, more accurate, actually. Nico Baby's owned them, but actually then comes the Hex out onto the open. Nico Baby, he's in some trouble. Does get off that Manta. Needs to look for a target, but meanwhile, he's lost another teammate as S4 goes down. He jumps inside Lim to give him the extra tankiness and movement speed. The old puppy comes across over towards the Doom and actually skewers him back as Nico Baby jumps out to tank the skewer. That's not bad. He's going to be able to find Zai on the back lines, but he's actually taking so much damage just from Nisha and Batum Man here. He needs to get himself away, but he doesn't do so successfully. He doesn't have buyback either, and that is going to be the end of game number one as the GGs are dropped, and it's going to be Team Secret taking game number one. But you know what? That wasn't easy. That was harder than people. That's how Alliance are going to win this game. Alrighty, well, that's going to be it for the draft. Four. Seen by Zai here, but there's going to be a fortune turn thrown by FNG. I mean, this is, could be a oh, lot of time girls. wasted, though, as Nico Baby comes in. Hanskin joining the fight as well. Has that Crystal Nova and Zai, all he has is the uh, Sticky Napalm, and it looks like this is going to be your first blood, and it goes to Nico Baby as well. It's going to set him back a little bit. Bottom, Batrider. Oh, yeah, he's getting run down. That's for Hanskin. It's enough. Oh, a Fisher from Yamps. Or is it going to be enough? Zai trying to run the line with the Firefly. They need a bit more. They don't have mana for the Crystal Nova, though. Self. And S4 doesn't look like he can do it. Blood right comes through. Is it going to link? No, Zai just moves his way out of it. And he's actually trying to turn around to Hanskin here. He's got a couple of these uh, Napalm stacks up. But S4, he's still chasing, trying to run down the Batrider. Yaps, or he's got another stun available in just one second. Zai, surely he goes down here. He will get caught up by the Blood right. Meanwhile, Yapsor tries to find Hanskin. Isn't able to do that though so it is going to be a victory for alliance if bit. they can't utilize this mid tower dying and keep pressuring secret then maybe it just wasn't worth it here puppy, oh, puppy. Oh. oh dear oh no that's gonna be focus yeah. fire <laughs> <laughs> to be fair it's 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 a pretty like light target to kill off here considering what you could have done with the dd wind but ah uh, well they won't be complaining about it definitely maybe if limp actually Takes this tier one oh, tower top Zai. as well. Then comes the lasso XP. out onto the Sven here. They're struggling to get the damage, but once that uh, die block, uh, sorry, the Fate's Edict ends, they will be able to kill off Nico Baby again here. He is just having a sad, sad game. And FNG, well, he's under the tower. He's all right. Trying to drop the nukes onto Yapsaw, but actually the multi shot from the side along with the Fisher gets a kill into FNG regardless. They just baited him in beautifully. Oh man, I feel so bad for Nico Baby. 17 lassets. Oh, to keep her from attacking for I five mean, seconds but well if, still, if you can reach know. her i mean she's it's a drought yeah that's you're true a spend too. without ags i don't know how you're getting cast range exactly. for that to be honest let's see there jumping on tanisha in the middle lane actually the shackle does connect along with the blood rider as well he's trying to get off the ultimate but it's not gonna happen they get the kill on tanisha and that's gonna be a clean pick off in the middle lane for alliance buying themselves a bit more Huge. of that valuable valuable space the duo looking in towards mid. They have a feeling that Alliance are going to try and make the exact same play again, and they're absolutely right. They're trying to bring down this bench, but meanwhile, they're wrapping around from the side. The slam comes down wow. from Yapsor, landing onto three throw in the Wukong's command as well. And, and they the are just one. melting the wind and the Oracle already tackled out of the equation. s has got to fall, and that is going to be four heroes dead. Secret with a beautiful setup, a beautiful prediction, and that's going to be four kills on the board for them. And guess where they're going? You get no bonus points for getting this one right. It's right now. Why, why you gotta make aggressive plays when you can just bait your opponents <laughs> yeah. and win team fights that way instead? I mean, is, is this... Oh, hold on, they're actually going for something FNG. here. They're going oh, for FNG. No, FNG. Yeah, Lim's trying to come around the back lines and finish on Nisha, but Nisha's the one with the Aegis, so I'm not quite sure that's the greatest play from him as Yapsol gets on top, stuns him up, slowing him down. They're on top of him with the flames as well, blasting him around, and Lim cannot get away from this. Meanwhile, a couple of spells being thrown in the way of Zai, but Zai, he's feeling okay about life. He's just gonna hang around on this cliff for a bit and blink himself away. Well, his Vengeance is just worth nothing because of that uh, Vengeance Aura, the illusion exactly. which pops up. Mid, I mean, sorry, bottom, but as I, gonna get ruptured up. Yeah, the TP from Yapsaw, he's actually going here. straight into the slam. Only really catches out the Crystal Maiden, however, but it will still be a kill for Secret instead of a kill for Alliance. So making the trade once more. Mm. Anisha already chasing, running after Limp. She's already popped the Wind Run here, so it could be a real opportunity for Nisha just to solo the Wind Ranger right here. There is going to be a Blood Rite right thrown onto Nisha. She has got to get herself away. Wind Run available in just one second. I'm going to use it now, but meanwhile Yapsaw goes for the Fissure. Is that going to block off Limp? It actually does, but they don't know that. And secret. They're actually considering getting themselves away now as they're getting a little bit carried away perhaps. Alliance are ready for this. But there's heroes wrapping in mm -hmm. from behind. They're picking out Puppy. Puppy. 
but in they go, stun straight out onto the Monkey King, but they don't want to fight this one, but unfortunately Nicker Baby's actually been walled off by the Earth Shaker right now, as in comes Wukong's command and the last two, they're just dragging Nicker Baby away from his team, FNG can just about reach him to budget off, but doesn't want to pop the ultimate, will pop the ultimate onto Sven, just about saving me, while that Monkey King jumping into the front lines here, I mean he does have the Aegis, and he kills the Handskin, Limp and Handskin already dead, Nicker Baby pops the ultimate, pops the God Strength, can't really find a target, trying to jump on Yapsaw, but Maltu is just pewing away, slowing him down, kiting him up as a lose S4 as well, and there's a damage coming now on to Nico, baby. Limp running around in circles, trying to get something, anything out of this fight, but there is nothing to be gained. Secret are in control, and they take down another five heroes. Oh, dearie me. I mean, there is just nothing which Alliance can do this game, it feels. What's what's really left in the tank for them? How desperate is this game? That is, isn't it? That is a very much a poor man's axe this game around. And he pops a God Strength. They're looking to go for something here. The Doe is going to be onto the Monkey King, but Monkey King with the Lotus Orb actually reflects the stun back onto the Sven. And now he's in a real pickle. He's trying to run himself out. Meanwhile, that's who comes out onto FNG, bringing him down. And the slam comes in from Yapsaw. Wow. On two, three. Well, they will take down the back lines onto Handskin. Limp trying to do something, but he's going to get killed off eventually here, I believe a right click from puppy will do the job and it looks like alliance are going to be in a real sticky situation here as s4 is going to get run down by nisha and yapsor as well here they are on top of him and he will die that's going to be four heroes dead on the side of alliance a uh, comeback is well it's 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 not really on the cards for alliance but you know what <laughs> this team will never give up they will try till the last breath let's see what they can find here Nisha's gonna pop the smoke on the back lines, finds FNG. Hello, sir, how is it going? Multi shot through as well, okay. and two heroes are just All removed right. from existence. Where did they go? Oh, God. The attempt was made, and the attempt was very quickly failed. As Nisha comes in with the BKB, Puppy Gun with the swap as well. Handskin's gonna be the target as they try and take him down. Finally, tanky for a Crystal Maiden. Nisha's struggling to finish the job, thinking about popping the Wukong, but now he's gonna chill on the high ground. Ah, it's Zai who's gonna go after him, but a blink away from Handskin. Actually keeps him safe. Pretty cheeky, and now actually Zai could be in some trouble. Puppy goes for the swap, gives his life for his offlaner. And Zai will just about survive this one, despite S4's best intentions. The rest of the team try and deal with the tier 2 tower, and S4 runs into Nisha here, but in comes a Fisher into the Wukong as well. Oh no, S4, he's got nowhere to go. Meanwhile, Handskin dies to Drow on the back line. She's just in right now, controlling them up. And in the front, well, S4 trying to run past an angry Drow, but this Drow ain't gonna let that happen too easily. Meanwhile, Nico Baby blinks forward, trying to find Zai. Not gonna happen. He's gonna die as well. Three heroes dead once again from Alliance as the Wind Ranger respawns without any teammates and is tasked with defending this high ground. Well, that is a hard task Radiance indeed, and Zai's already looking for it with his blink dagger and this four stuff. Oh boy, they are they are at 1k gold advantage per minute. And there it is. Oh, there's the last circle. Yeah, they call it. They call it. There's nothing left to the side of Alliance. It is going to be the 2-0 from Secret. Alliance have failed to take down the Goliaths once more, and Team Secret confirm their spot in the grand finals, as if it were ever in doubt.